Hi everyone, welcome back to the Capacities channel. In this video, I will show you how to set up a daily note template, just like our co-founder Stefan has. He wrote an article last year about how he uses his daily note and some simple systems to help him through work. And I thought I would show you how you could create something similar for you. Daily note templates are an excellent way of structuring your day. And of course, with Capacity Central Calendar, it fits right in with the other features such as the date references, anything created today, and of course the sidebar. But we're gonna focus just on a daily note template in this video, so let's get started. I'm gonna click on these three dots and go to use template and then new template. And this opens up a blank um, daily note for me and I can add any text in here. And again, we're basing this on Stefan's real life one. So he has a few different sections, something to start the day, something to use during the day, at the end of the day, and then a reflection log at the bottom as well. So we will be working section by section. So the first thing I'm going to do is write out all of the headings. He also adds icons to the start of the lines. So if you click on the six dots to the left of a block, you have the block menu and icons are one of the options. So he has the sunrise one like that. Obviously add any icons you want. And then we can build around that. So it looks like the top ones are just in bold. So if I highlight the text and then do command or control B, or of course use the button. Schedule is a bigger section, so this looks like it's in a heading. Let's give it heading two. Same for habits. You can use the six dots like I am, or you can use markdown formatting. So two hashtags equates to heading two. So if I do that and then click space, that's created as a heading for me. That's bold and that's bold. And as mentioned before, he splits these sections up with dividers actually. So if you do three lines like that, you get a divider or horizontal line. We'll do the same thing. There we go. So these are the basic sections and now we can work on them one by one. So under the morning routine, he just has a list of what he does. You could just write it as a list or you can use check boxes, which you'll see more in the next section. That's his list. And then we can select and make that italic. And then in this next section, there are some things to check off. Now, as you can see, when you have a line with an icon and you enter to get a new block, that icon is there again. Of course, you can keep it or just press backspace and it will go away. To nest all of the tasks under the work launch pad, I'm just going to click tab as I did before. And there's a little note there that says get mentally ready for the day. Highlight and italicize. And then there's a few tasks. So the shortcut that I prefer for tasks is opening, closing a square bracket. When you press space, it turns into a to-do block. Of course, once you've got one of those blocks, press enter and it carries on, just like we did with the icon. So here, that's helpful. If you don't want to use the open and closing of a square bracket, you can also search for a to-do block. So that's the morning section all done. And another thing that Stefan does is he uses a lot of toggles. So what I can actually do is to select both of these blocks command shift and click and now I can add toggles from here with this button and that means that this section is collapsible so once you've completed a section you can move on now we can move on to the schedule again I'm just copying what Stefan's published about but obviously make this into whatever will work for you now the first thing to notice about Stefan's setup is there are columns here. So the schedule is quite a large wide column and the habits are just at the end. So I'm going to click and drag on those six dots and pull it to the end of the schedule block. And now that I can see that vertical line, I'm going to drop my heading there. And then I'll use this slider just to readjust 
the width of the columns. And now it looks even more like Stefan set up. He uses toggles again um, and he keeps the icons. So I don't need to backspace to get rid, but I will indent this so it always sticks under the schedule. He also continues to use toggles. So I can do forward slash toggle and I get that. And of course that will be continued with each further block. So the first one is work one, work two, but he also has these chat boxes under the schedule as well. So I'm going to command shift and click to select those, open this action panel and add a checkbox there. I'll do the same with habits. So create a new block underneath it and I'm going to indent it and create a to do block and we'll make up some random habits. There we go. You can always readjust the width if you want a bit more space for either section. Now, the thing to remember with these templates when you're setting them up is you're going to have the same thing every single day. So you probably don't want to fill in anything under under the work sections because they'll presumably change. Whereas our communication routine as a team is fairly set. So it makes sense that these are kind of built into this template, which we're doing now. That being said, you can edit your templates at any time. Just call this daily routine 2025. And here in this manage template section, if I hover over any of these templates, you get the edit button, which means you can change anything. So if your habits change over time or the order you're doing things changes, just go to that templates section in the settings and apply whatever edits you need. And then going forward, that updated version will apply to your daily notes, but nothing from before will be affected. Okay, so that's most of the sections done. Now we just have this work shutdown routine. So I clicked enter to create a new block and I want to indent it again. He has a reminder. And then we have a few more tasks. So now this whole section actually has a toggle as well. So when you have indented blocks like this, you want to make sure you're at the very top level block just to make sure you're selecting everything that you intend. If you click on those six dots, it will highlight the section that the action will be applied to. So if I only highlight this and add a toggle, only that block will get a toggle, which I don't want. I want this whole section to have a toggle. And that is now the behavior that I wanted. By the way, if your toggles look like triangles rather than like this, it's actually a setting. So in editor, we've got a few different settings here, but you've got this toggle style that you can choose from. So if I choose toggle, that's the more traditional look. I think I just changed it to the bullet point before, which is a more outliner style. Up to you, but that might explain why your toggle looks different to mine. It's the same function, it's collapsible blocks. Okay, and the final section is the summary of the day. Stefan actually has a really great and inspiring system for his daily summary, where he writes down everything he's learned today, and he writes it in this toggle, which is also tagged with work learnings. I'll show you why that is so cool in a moment. He also has another section called thoughts today with another tag. But that is how we can copy Stefan's daily note setup. One thing you'll need to do if you want this to be applied automatically every day is open up your daily note settings and come to the template you've just created and then make sure this star is filled in because that means it will be applied by default every time a new daily note is created. So just to show you how that works in practice, come to tomorrow's daily note, if I click start, everything is applied for me and I just get to get going. So before I end the video, I'll just show you how useful these um, tags are. So a great use of an app like Capacities is to write down what you learn about yourself, about your work, about anything in your life. And by having a specific place to write that down in your daily note, you're obviously prompted to do that reflection every single day. And that in itself is good. So let's say I've learned this today. And then, for example, let's do another one tomorrow where I learn an afternoon walk is great ahead of creative tasks. This is obviously attached to the day on which you had that realization, which is really nice. But in general, the way that tags work in capacities 
is if I then click on that work learnings, I have everything that I have learned about myself, or my work or anything at a glance. It's not showing me the entire daily note because the tag is just applied to that toggle, meaning I'm literally just seeing the things that I have learned. And this is a great idea from Stefan that he's been using forever. And I checked with him before filming this video that he's still using it. And it's been months since he first wrote that blog post. And it's this really valuable wall that you can read through. And in fact, for these examples, this would tell me that my daily routine perhaps should have multiple walks like before a session and I can come into my daily note template, edit, and add an afternoon walk into. And then again, now that that's been edited, when I create future daily notes, that will be reflected. So this is an excellent template because it structures the beginning of your day, the actual work day, and then a shutdown routine at the end, and it triggers some reflection. Combining that with Capacity's tag system, you get this really valuable resource for you, and you can iterate on your own life and your own systems from that. So I hope that was helpful, and I hope you are inspired to create a daily note template that works for you. If you have any questions about this, then of course, please let me know.